First, the uh, question is, what kind of documentation and evidence does the uh, U.S. government have to implicate the Chinese government? It, it is not possible to make a definitive statement that China is hacking U.S. federal uh, employment records unless they show that the Chinese government is involved. It could be uh, hackers uh, that use a Chinese portal. I don't think this uh, accusation is uh, substantiated, at least up to now. We have not seen any uh, evidence pointing to its official policy of the Chinese government. Uh, secondly, I think the uh, magnification of this uh, allegations is part of a general campaign uh, organized by the Obama government to uh, stigmatize and isolate China and uh, criminalize its uh, advances in uh, technology. Now, thirdly, I think the uh, U.S. government needs to make a concerted effort to improve its own cyber uh, networks and protection. And fourthly, we know for a fact that the U.S. government, uh, through the National Security Agency, is engaged in spying and in, uh, in uh, penetrating other countries' networks. So if in, indeed China is involved, they're simply imitating the U.S. government. And I, I don't think that one can accuse China of committing a crime if it itself is a victim of uh, uh, hacking and espionage. So I think altogether uh, these uh, charges and counter charges and attempts to uh, uh, demonize China uh, are not going to work because China is an emerging economic power. It has enormous uh, links to uh, most of the most important uh, markets in Asia and, and throughout the world. So I, I think the U.S. should get down to serious business of negotiating the uh, agreement with China and not use these uh, uh, charges to uh, uh, undermine a very important uh, period of negotiations with uh, with uh, China, Iran, and other countries which are uh, independent of U.S. policy.